Hello and welcome. If you are watching this video, it means you are probably an expecting mother or have a loved one who is and may have some questions about COVID-19. So today we brought in Dr. Matt Hoffman. He is the endowed chair of our department of OBGYN here at Christiana Care. Dr. Hoffman, thank you for joining us today. Let's get right down to kind of a major topic. Are pregnant women at higher risk? So I think there's a lot of rumors out there. What I will say is the data that we have right now is, is that pregnant women don't seem to be at much more risk than the general population. The other part of that is pregnant women by definition are young and mostly healthy. Um, and therefore those women who do get COVID seem to fare much better than older folks where we're seeing most of the significant disease occurring. Pregnant women who are concerned about contracting COVID, what can they do to prevent that? So the message is pretty consistent across all areas. So social distancing, which we've been practicing for a period of time, hand washing, not touching your face. The general public health messages apply equally to parents. That's great. And a pregnant woman who contracts COVID within the last few months of her pregnancy, should she be concerned about giving that COVID to her baby. So this has been a particularly hot button issue for many folks, obviously very concerned. Um, we do actually have some data, mostly from China. Um, the first case series that came out, in fact, suggested that there was what, no, what we call vertical transmission, meaning when mom was infected while she was pregnant, there was no passage to the baby. There have been a couple of case reports of where it may have been possible. Again, there's lots of questions about the science of those. And the good news about those rare cases where there have been case reports, the babies have been mildly, if at all, affected. This probably reflects the fact that moms pass on their antibodies to baby, and therefore babies are relatively protected. And for women who are pregnant and positive for COVID-19, we have adjusted how we can care for them. We've adjusted quite a bit. So we've actually built a specific center where COVID mothers can be cared for uniquely, where they're not at risk for infecting others around them. Um, the staff is particularly familiar with how to deal with COVID folks um, from that perspective. And we provided the full suite of services, including ultrasound lab, as well as a provider to see them. Our goal is to allow folks who are COVID positive to be seen in that unique center. And then once they're recovered, they'll return back to their normal site of care. And even pregnant women who aren't COVID positive have seen kind of a change in the way that their pregnancy plan may be working out. Yeah, so pregnancy care has changed quite a bit. So just from the prenatal standpoint, we've instituted telehealth. Um, we have provided blood pressure cuffs to folks and home monitoring. We still see folks as it's appropriate, but clearly the timing of the visits and the way they're conducted is somewhat different. We recognize that social distancing is also socially awkward. Um, so to that end point, just to let folks know that we should have a pregnancy app coming out next week. That'll help to fill in a lot of those questions that occur um, along the prenatal course. And also we've been able to adapt it specifically to COVID-19 questions. We know that the science of COVID-19 changes almost on a daily basis. So keeping folks available of the data that's coming out is what our intent is. Um, so look for that hopefully in the next week or so to be downloaded off of our website. Wonderful. And on top of the new app, we're about to open a new building where we're speaking right now. So give our viewers a sneak peek of that. So we're super excited about this. So this is an eight floor commitment to our families, um, completely new building, new furnishings, really built around the concept of how do we keep families together. So I think the most spectacular example of this will be one of the few NICUs in the country when babies do require NICU care. They will have the ability to have mom literally in the adjoining room that she can literally look across the room and see what how her baby is being treated. But there's also a door that can slide for when she needs privacy and a chance to recover from her own process. So super exciting um, building, super exciting ways to care for families and we're continuing to learn to try to make things better. Great, Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much for joining us. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments wherever you are watching this video and we will get back to your question as soon as we can. We will be releasing more exciting information about the pregnancy app as well as our new building in the coming weeks. Thank you.